That is the music of Michael W. Smith right here on his radio, You Won't Let Go. As a matter of fact, we are connected up with Michael W. Smith via Skype this morning. He sang in front of presidents, world leaders, traveled around the world. Also, what Michael can add to the resume is now wedding singer. Man, look at him go. If I, I get to know you. I don't think quite like that, though, Smitty. Wow, I was trying to find myself in there. I can't <laughs> see myself. Adam Sandler is playing you as wedding singer, which quite literally, you were a wedding singer just recently. I was, yeah. I was a wedding singer for my great friend and keyboard player of 19 years, Mr. Jim Daniker, and did a duet with Tammy Trent. Um, and it was, yeah, it was beautiful. It had been a while since I'd sung at a wedding, but it was a, it was a great day for sure. That was really special for Tammy Trent. As a matter of fact, we caught up with Tammy a couple of weeks ago, and this is what she said about her time with you. You know, I did, I definitely feel like I, you know, I did my best, but it's like I was so crazy nervous singing with Michael, but what an, a beautiful moment we had. And, you know, it was just really, really sweet. And um, I was truly honored. I mean, obviously, I've been a huge Michael W. Smith fan since I was a kid. Yeah. One of the first Christian concerts I ever went to. So closing my eyes then, who would have ever thought I'd be singing at my best friend's wedding with him? It was nice. really awesome. That's quite amazing, Michael. Here you are on a bucket list of somebody, and she sang with you because that's Anita, who is Jim's wife now, best right. friend, and uh, she takes care of her when she travels around to these Women of Faith conferences. Yeah, yeah, it was it was awesome. Um, I, I just I, I, it's it's always interesting when you get people talk about you. It's going, yeah, I've been listening to you since I was a kid. <laughs> I love that. Isn't that uh, something else? That's just it, it is what it is, and it's but it's an R. Yeah, it was. It's a song called "The Other Side of Me" that was on my "I'll Lead You Home" record, a uh, love song I wrote for my wife Debbie. So Jim, Jim and Anita wanted us to sing it, and it was it was a great moment. It seemed like it was quite the wedding because Candace Camion Bure was there along with you. Yeah, she was my she was my partner. You know, we walked in together and walked out together and had a great time catching up. It'd been a long time since I'd, I'd seen her. I think she came with her brother Kirk uh, to my show at Universal Amphitheater. I think that was the first time. It was I think it was the Lead Me On tour with Amy. And that's where I got to know Kirk. And then I think and Candace even told me, she says, I think I was 11 years old. So. Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah. So, but, uh, she's a sweetheart. It was really good to hear what she's doing. And obviously, she's, you know, she's on TV a lot doing the Hallmark mov movies. But she's... Uh, She's a, she's a great girl. Yeah, she certainly is. Since it's Throwback Thursday, we thought we'd do a little Throwback Thursday with you, Michael, since you're on. I love uh, it. We found your very first album cover, it looks like. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that now, is awesome. How old are you in this one picture? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I think I'm probably eight. Um, that actually was our backstage pass uh, of this fall portion of the Sovereign Tour, it was sort of my idea to go and, you know, we have the same old backstage passes, it's my picture or whatever, going, let's just grab a, a really young photo of me, and I've always liked this picture, I think I might have been in Cub Scouts at that point, but, um, but I'd say I look like I'm eight or nine. Michael like W. Smith and Cub Scouts, isn't that yeah. pretty cool? <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. How about this, it looks like it's you, and that might be your sister, is that who that is? That is my sister, Kimberly, yeah. And then uh, us sitting on the mantel. Don't know why we were sitting up on the mantel, but we did take this Christmas picture. Yeah, you were very excited in the picture. Yeah, <laughs> I look a little boring. <laughs> a little bored, don't I? What's this by the fireplace that we see? That is at our, some friends of ours' houses. I'm holding a dog, and I think that was the first time that I looked at my mom and dad and said, please, um, all I want for Christmas is a puppy, you know? And uh, I believe that Christmas I got one. There's a lot of snow that's throughout America right now, but we noticed that you build quite the snowman in your day. Yeah, well, that's West Virginia, and we used to get a lot of snow. And so it's one of our favorite things to do in the backyard is build a big old snowman. Wow, I'm, not, I'm having deja vu. That's incredible. Yeah, that More important than the snowman, I'm looking at your hairstyle, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that picture. <laughs> wow. That's you ever... I, showed, uh, who that, I showed that I'm on a movie, doing a movie, and in, in, um, I'm doing 90 Minutes in Heaven. I'm, I'm acting in this movie in Georgia, and so I was in my trailer, and everybody wanted to see some of these crazy pictures of me. And uh, I showed them the Go West Show Man picture, and they just 
they just could not believe I had hair like that. That's actually from the American Music Award when I won that year. I'm uh, sure back then it was really stylish, but do you ever have any uh, fashion faux pas that you regret from years past? Well, that might be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that you know it, it's not a mullet it's more like kenny g you know yep. it's, uh, it does look like that i like uh, the bangs uh, and yeah i guess i thought it was cool and um you it, know it was just the big hair days and, kenny uh, g meets miami vice yes. exactly yeah and, great and bow tie i don't <laughs> think i'm gonna go back there i don't i think we're safe to say that i'm not gonna go back so. found a throwback of you and toby mack back in the day doing a little pool yeah, I found that picture the other day and, and posted it and thought, wow, great memories. That's us in Beaver Creek, a kind of place up in the mountains, and that's a very long time ago. I took, uh, I took Toby, Michael, and Kevin to go skiing, and we I think this is at a, one of my favorite little restaurants, and they had a pool table, and, we, and I just found that picture, totally forgotten I had somebody snap that picture of us, so... I threw it up on a throwback Thursday, I think probably two, three weeks ago, and I've gotten a lot of comments on that. Picture. I am sure. I think this throwback Thursday might be you and your, is this a, your son? Because you look really young in this picture. Yeah, that's that's Ryan. That's our uh, that's our oldest, who is 31 now, believe it or not. So uh, being in the pool is one of our favorite things to do. We did a lot of time in the water. This throwback Thursday looks like a family tree almost, because this is this generations of uh, wow. Smitty's? Wow, that's in my, that's in my home back in uh, Canova, West Virginia, and I'm trying to think who all's in it. Oh, there's Debbie. So there's a couple of our kids. Um, yeah, we met, used to make the trek back to West Virginia some for Christmas, and now my mom and dad live in in Franklin, Tennessee. So we don't go back as much as we used to. But yeah, that's an old picture, isn't it? I I think this is this is a jump in time now. I think you're known as G Daddy now in the family. Is that right? I am G Daddy. Yeah, and who's this little guy? Well, that looks like. Um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think which one that is. If I'm not mistaken, I believe. Um, gosh, is this the latest one? I've just got. I'm, I think I'm, it's one of the later ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's Nora. If I'm, I'm almost positive that's Nora, and that's uh, my youngest Emily and her husband Sam from the group Luminate. That's their first child, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, look at me, man. I'm like, like I'm in heaven. Me too. Too. Yeah, that's so sweet. I know you've been also been posting a lot of pictures lately from your experience on the set of Ninety Minutes in Heaven, the movie they're making based on the best-selling book by Don Piper. A lot of people might be surprised that you're an actor. What's that experience been like? Well, I mean, I feel like I've been an actor since I was a kid. You know, I was in Thespians. I was in a lot of plays in high school. Um, you know, if you'd, if you'd ask my kids, they would say our dad's an actor because I'd always pretend to be like somebody else all growing up and turning into different characters. And and I, I, and then as I, but I never felt like that's what I was supposed to do full time. Music was really a high calling on my life and. Uh, I knew one day I would make a movie, and I just didn't know when. And then Steve Taylor um, approached me back in 2003 when he had this idea for the second chance. And uh, and he came to me and says, I know you got this bug for acting. He says, I think I have a part, and I want to do this movie called The Second Chance, and I want you to play this character named Ethan Jenkins. And so that began, you know, all those talks and meetings began. All of a sudden, I'm on set, and I'm filming for you know, 24, 25 days, being the star of that movie, pretty much. And and I loved every minute of it. It was a great story. Uh, ever since then, I've passed up so many movie scripts because I, I can't really find anything that I like. And, um, and then when this came along, uh, I'd heard about this book about Don Piper. I mean, I'd heard about it tw 20 years ago. I mean, just unbelievable that this guy is even alive. And... And, and so I was iffy about it because I'm just because I just want to be a part of something that's really really special and and I said well I want to know who is in the movie and I want to know who's directing and then when I found that out I thought you know what I'm going to jump in and be a part of that that's Michael Polish right there in that picture he's the director and uh, and uh, his wife is Kate Bosworth who plays Don's wife Eva and I'm Don's best friend. 
uh, named Cliff, and most of my scenes are with Kate. So I thought that could just be a great opportunity to just really have a lot of just, I mean, she's a great actress, and so it's been a great time. It's really been awesome, and she's, she's been sweet. It's a great cast. It's a great crew, and, um, and I'm just hoping for the best, and uh, it's coming out, hopefully coming out this fall. This is, I think, the closest you'll be to ever being on Star Wars because Hayden Christensen is also in this, and he was Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars. Yes, and he's a great guy. I've really enjoyed getting to know him. He, uh, we had fun on the set because I've got two two scenes with him, two or three scenes with Hayden, and um, we get, we have a little surprise in the movie. We do something. So it was all on the fly. I love when you get on a set and you have a script, and then the director says just. I remember one time he says, just say whatever you want. I'm going, say whatever you want? Hey. <laughs> Don't I need to stick with the script? But, but we, had a, we had a little exchange of, uh, of, of something that might have to do with me being a recording artist. But I, I'm, I'm not going to share that. I'm just going to let that see if it plays out and see if it makes the, makes the cut in the movie, which I think it will be. And it'll be, I think it'll be quite amusing. That's awesome. We're excited to see that one. And uh, again, we're talking to Michael W. Smith. This is pretty exciting for us. It really is exciting. Actually, I think we'll have some stuff about that movie in just a few weeks. We can't say much, but that's as much as we can say, (laughs) if that makes sense. That makes sense at all? It makes sense. (laughs) You know, we're about to wrap. You know, I was in I went. I took my wife down. It was great. She was so excited to be on the set. And we went down, and then Atlanta gets hit with this snowstorm three three days ago. And, uh, they shut the set down, so we just drove back to Nashville. So I'm, I'm heading back down this uh, this Sunday for my last day of shooting, and then it's hopefully going to be wrapped up by March 8th, and then, you know, then you go into post production and you start cutting the movie, and you know, and then I can't wait to see stuff. But I hear the ones I know on the inside who've seen the footage are just uh, it looks absolutely incredible. And I, again, I think we might have some something very special here. Michael W. Smith, such an honor to catch up with you this morning. Thanks for the time getting up so early in your home in Nashville to be with us on Skype. You are very welcome. I enjoyed it. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Yeah, you too.